Hi, I'm CADCAM and I'm going to walk through real quickly on how to use the squash in your particular file. I'm going to go ahead and launch your file. In this case, MasterCAM 9 is launching. Go ahead and say OK here. You can see we have your file. I also noticed on your file level, on a different level, usernames, and this last one here, was actually your 3D wireframe. So I'm going to make that the active file, active level. View that real quick. We can see we have all your file here. I'm going to go ahead and set myself with another level, say for example 20, and say flat profile. Say OK. Change the color it's going to be go ahead and used. I'll go ahead and use this nice color orange here on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is now I've got all your entities. I'm going to go ahead and go X form using the option of squash window. Put a window around everything. Say done. You can see that active level and color, active level is 20, active color is 138. We're going to say copy, use construction attributes, use this level of Z, 0. Say OK. Go ahead and say done. Turn off your level 3. F3. Repaint. I'm going to go ahead and screen clear colors. Putting this back in the color I want. And we can see at this particular time, there's a few details you're going to need to do once you get in here. First thing you might want to do is double check to see if there's any duplicates. Delete duplicate entities. Say OK. Looks like none were found. That's good. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is also look for another issue that you're probably going to have right here. As soon as you start to try to contour, if I actually set this for analyze, you can see that you won't be able to go ahead and profile through here because there's a this entity needs to be broken. So for example, modify break, two pieces, this at the intersection of here. And we'll look again here, same thing here, this entity, the endpoint of here on that. But now you're gonna have other issues where there might be overlapping entities. You're gonna of course have to create a line there. So create line endpoints up here to here not a problem is it looks like it missed one entity there but you're gonna have is overlapping entities where you're squash the existing detail so you're gonna have to go through and find that one of the quickest ways to look for certain information like that is alt C on the keyboard go to the C hooks directory look for finding overlap entities here and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the option for window let it find everything say done and you can see it's going to show me some information of where there's overlapping entities. For example, as I go through and show next, you can see it's finding entities that are overlapping each other in different areas. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to clean it up. Say OK. Then I might need to go through and review this before and check to see for any other entities that might not end together correctly. But it'll give you a basic profile you should be able to work with at this particular time. And that'll take me through for the end for now. If you have any more questions, post it.